I would say that the key message is that uh, green growth is the, the way to go. Your economic development is the development of the 21st century. And if you grow your economies green, you're going to show the rest of the world how to manage this. You can actually implement green technologies and cut costs and make more money. And if you go back in 2012 when they said the future we want, I think we thought that we had future. But the future is now. Climate information is still very much outdated and using old technologies. It's uh, most, more important to practice sustainable agriculture that is uh, having a vision of being a green and uh, market-led agriculture. We can't achieve green growth if we can't measure it. We need those strong systems in place. Many African industries are still um, lagging behind in terms of modern technologies and therefore helping them to adopt new green technologies is helping them to leapfrog in terms of industrial productivity but in a way indeed that is green and that is climate resilient. So the question is as critical as that. What pathways we are taking when we build NDCs and can we do those things uh, like as a standalone project or as it's being said this is where real partnership have to come. Can we see, we, we do have got a very quick hand going up here. There's a microphone coming from that side. If you look at the, the display of weather monitoring equipment on the African continent, it is just blank. And that involves, it means that gap introduces errors in whatever we do because we don't isolate, we do holistically all over the world. I, I would like to uh, hear uh, from the leadership of uh, uh, Rwanda on the key message they have on how they uh, enable to announce this ownership through the process of involving especially younger generations and multi uh, fellow uh, ministries. Thank you. Rwanda is going to be a shining example of how we promote you know, green growth in the, in the region because at least at the East African community we can point and say it is working in Rwanda. Why can't it work in Uganda? Why can't it work in Burundi? Why can't it work in Tanzania? Why can't it work in Kenya? And why can't it work in South Sudan? I thank you so much. We need to come together and uh, work together. Because it doesn't matter if Rwanda is adopting this uh, uh, kind of strategy alone. We need to go as a region, we need to go as a, to move as a continent so that we can contribute to the well-being of the whole planet. And in Rwanda and the rest of Africa, roughly 60% of the population is still youth. So when we talk about green jobs, the, the future of TVET programs uh, must be oriented towards creating that future workforce and so the youth really do need to play a much more uh, active role in these conversations and be part of these programs as well. Thank you. And I, I therefore just want to end by thanking enormously uh, Minister Vincent Baruta who's really responsible for setting this up. So thank you very much. <laughs>